In this video, we will look at why these aircraft, which were built in the 1950s, are still being used to the present day and upgraded to the year 2040. We will also look at how this plane could load 12 cruise missiles, both internal and external, in overload condition. So don't miss a beat and stay tuned to the end. This is the Tupolev 295, which was designed as a tactical nuclear bomber and have been in service for the last 70 years. NATO reporting named Bear. The main question is why is this Soviet-era aircraft still in use today? The Tu-95 has continued to operate in the Russian Air Force. Part of the reason for this longevity was its suitability range and fuel efficiency. It is not that old compared to the American counterpart, the B-52, as it was introduced on February 1952. While the Tupolev Tu-95 first flight was in the year 1955. For now, let's concentrate more on the Tupolev Tu-95 Bear. It has a length of 49.13 meter, which is pretty huge. Thus making sense is why NATO gave the name the Bear. It has a wingspan of 50.04 meter attached to four counter-rotating turboshaft engines. The wings are swept to 35 degrees, making the total wing area to 311.1 square meters. The height of this monster bear is around 13.3 meter. To better understand its size, this is a visual comparison to an average human. As you can see, it is pretty huge for a bomber in those times. The TDU-95 generally masses just over 400,000 pounds loaded, while it has a weapons payloads of 33,000 pounds. All of this weight is being powered by these huge power plant that consists of four Kuznetsov and K-12 turboprop engines which carries a large four-bladed contra-rotating propellers combined with variable pitch propeller. Its four Kuznetsov and K-12 engines crank out a whopping 15,000 horsepower each and push contra-rotating propellers that force the bear along at jet speeds. Those engines and propellers also give the TU-95 family one of its most notable features a deafening mechanized orchestra blast. Just listen to the sound of the propellers. Again, let us compare this to an average human to understand it better. The propeller has a diameter of 5 to 6 meter. The front row propeller weights around 518 kilogram and rear propeller row weights around 637 kilogram. It has flight crew of 5, 2 pilots, a navigator and 2 flight engineers and could be configured to carry from 120 to 220 passengers or 30,000 kilograms of cargo. Let us look at its weapon system. A total of eight KH-100 and one can be carried under four double missile pylons, in addition to six KH-55 in the internal rotary missile launcher. The KH-100 and one is a long range standoff weapon. It is carried and launched by bomber aircraft. It is larger and heavier than the KH-55, but retains a similar design with drop down engine. Externally, it has some similarities with a US AGM-158 JSM hair launch cruise missile, though the Russian missile has significantly longer range. The KH-100 and one is armed with a conventional or tactical warhead and has a range of 3,000 km. Depending on the version, the missile weights 2,200 to 2,400 kg and carries a 400 to 450 kg warhead. The Bear can carry six missiles in an internal rotary launcher, just like this one. It can also carry more KH-55s externally, though in overload flight condition. Two are carried on a store's attachment between the fuselage and inboard engine, and two are carried on a store's attachment between the two engines on each wing, for a total of 12 missiles in an experimental exercise. It has a range of up to 2,500 kilometers and can carry nuclear warheads. Let's move to the back of the Tu-95 Bear aircraft. It is armed with two Gryazov Shipunov GS H-23 twin barrel, 23 millimeter automatic cannons at the rear for self-defense against airborne threats. Each cannon has a rate of fire of 2,400 rounds a minute. This gun will not be a great defense if it is needed for long range mission against enemy fighter jets. So a worthy wing man would be the Sukhoi 57, fifth or fourth generation jet, in whatever its definition is, animated in our recent content. We create videos just like these from scratch. 
irrespective of countries or boundaries. So do us a solid as smash the subscribe and like button.